This is a major road connecting the three communities of Nazi, Agbala, and Obibiezena in the North local government area of Imo State. Residents from these communities find it difficult to assess Oweri, the capital city, due to bad state of road. I've been here for the past eight years. I've been living around here. And I wish I know that this particular road leads direct to River State. From this particular Nobala Naze, you straight down to Obiozena village. And from Obiozena village, you get to Ngobala, from Ngobala to River State. And that is why, for the past how many years we've lived here, this road has been, has been in a mess. I kept on saying, does it mean that there's no government in this state? There are three communities that are called the host communities for Anambara Imo River Basin Development Authority. They produced, they brought their land, their ancestral land, was given free of charge to the federal government for the establishment of what is there. And there is a social contract that, one, the areas of employment, people will be considered first. Secondly, that the roads, you know, people, there was an argument of whether state or federal road. This place becomes a federal concern because of the establishment, a federal establishment here that is taking the land of the people. Let government help us in building this road so that everything will flow. As the economy is going down, people doing business here won't be able to survive. The three communities are the food basket of the state but can no longer be possible as businesses have collapsed due to the dilapidated nature of the road. Shops are under lock and key, and even landlords are counting their losses as tenants are packed away from the area leaving the house to the fate of their owners. However, the managing director of Anambra Imo River Basin, Gerard Oswagu, says the federal government is planning to commence work on the road. I have written letters about this road to Anambra Imo River Basin. I think who are the custodians of the contract? I believe so. And on behalf of this, my nuclear village, I have equally written letters telling them our plights on this road, telling them what people have been suffering from. Earlier last day, they walked the road. One month where the road stay, the road scatter. Since then, even the vehicle that used to pass through this route, they're no more passing again, they're flowing in Abala because of the bad roads. It's really affecting us, like since morning now, I've not even sell anything. This road in question was rehabilitated last year, but because of the challenge of the area is flat, and that place that is being flowed is about the lowest point on that route. And the engineers, have tried to secure land from the community where we can channel the water, but that has not been successful. There's an indication there is some, somewhere behind the built up area we, pro, we can provide a natural course to channel the water, but this was a recent discovery. But we're going to engage the community. In fact, we plan to visit them, decide tomorrow again. We have been engaging with them to see how we can find a lasting solution is work in progress. Going by the west of the managing director of Anambra Imo River Basin, Gerard Oswagu, it is believed that very soon normal life activities will return back to Nazi Agbala and Obibezena community of Imo State.